My name is Jessica and I'm 18 years old and I'm addicted to dirt. Ever since I became pregnant, I crave dirt. The red clay behind my baby daddy's house is the best, but I'll eat dirt from anywhere, unless it hasn't already been walked on. I never craved dirt until now and I don't understand why everyone is making such a big deal about it. I mean, we eat stuff that grows in the dirt every day. I wish someone could explain to me why I want to eat dirt. Is it because I'm crazy or does it have to do with me being pregnant? I want to stop eating dirt, but I honestly, I just, I really can't help myself. It's starting to become a problem. I really wish you'd stop. This can't be healthy, and it's just weird. I don't understand why you need to eat dirt all the time. I mean, it gets stuck in your teeth, and it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> well, obviously I don't want to eat dirt, but it's like I walk past it, and I, I can't help myself. I have to eat it. And I'm sorry you don't understand, but maybe there's, like, something good for the baby or something in here, but I just, like, I see it, and I just have to eat it. Like, this dirt took me a long time to dig up. And... I mean, I got all the worms out of it and stuff. Like, just try some. It's, like, really not that bad. No. I'm okay. I just really wish you would see somebody about this. It's getting a little out of hand. I don't really understand why you're so worried about it. It doesn't affect you at all. Have you ever seen your prom? This affects me, too. We're going to see somebody. Uh, Jessica, I've spoken to your doctor and he told me what's going on and he asked me to come in here and talk to you about it. Um, what you have is actually a form called pica or pica. It's geophagia. That's a different type of pica, which is where you eat things that aren't food or you crave them. And geophagia is when you crave dirt. So that's what you have. And normally it's caused by when you don't have something in your diet or something's missing that you need, like iron or something like that. So um, what we can do is we can check your blood levels and all that for, to see what you're missing and we can work on your diet and try and figure out how we can correct that. Um, and actually, if you're missing something to begin with and then you start eating dirt, it can make you miss something else that you need. Oh, okay. So you might have not been lacking very much in the beginning and it might have made something worse. So that can affect the baby. And another concern is if you eat dirt, you might eat worms or things that you don't realize. And that could be bad for the baby and you. So we're going to have to check for that and check the baby and see how they're doing. Um, in the meantime, we can set you up with a nutritionist to see if they can figure things out. And if you're having problems with it emotionally, maybe a counselor. Um, is there any questions that you have? Well, I didn't realize that eating dirt could cause such big problems. I mean, it just kind of seemed natural and I was craving it. But so my eating dirt was caused by a dietary deficiency, but then once I started eating dirt, it just made it put the problem worse? It can. Okay. Well, what if I just can't stop cold turkey? If you can't stop cold turkey, there's no such thing as clean dirt, but the best thing we can suggest is that you preheat your oven to 200 degrees and cook the dirt for an hour to see if you can maybe get out some of the organisms. Um, if you can, though, we're hoping that if we fix your diet and we work on all that, that you won't crave the dirt anymore. All right. Well, that makes sense. All right. Well, we'll come in and do some work in a minute. All right. Thank you.